it's a great time to be in oncology because of the cutting edge technology and how much we've been able to provide to patients and keep them alive much longer. We see a wide variety of cancers like breast, colon, prostate, lung, uh, bladder. And we also see a lot of other bone marrow cancers such as lymphomas and leukemias, especially this area has been heavy in uh, multiple myeloma and we serve a lot of people here. When we get a referral, our goal is to be able to see them within 48 to 72 hours because time is of the essence. Depending upon their diagnosis, then we decide whether they're gonna need infusion, whether they're gonna need surgery first, whether they're going to need um, other services in addition to whatever they need at present, and then go from there. Cancer is a disease that doesn't see any kind of race, color, socioeconomic strata. It takes apart at so many different levels. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't discriminate. This disease does not discriminate. So why don't we put our efforts together to be able to at least provide the resources that we can or help people that we can that, is, that are ravaged or help families that, that are ravaged by this disease in any shape or form. I also believed I can definitely provide the best experiences possible that they can go through when, when they're going through their treatment. My team and my extended team, you know, right from the front desk to everybody, my medical assistant, my nurses, our office manager, you name it, you know, everybody plays such an important role in providing a service to patients that come in that I think we're all part of one, one wheel and we're all cogs in that wheel. Any diagnosis, especially a cancer diagnosis, takes away from a lot of your your day-to-day -day, um, normalcy, takes away from your ability to work, it takes away from your ability to provide an income to your family, it takes away your ability to put food on the table sometimes. When patients talk about how thankful they are that we can provide little resources like how much a gas card means to them to be able to go to the radiation appointments, how much it means for them to be able to pay a bill and not worry about their next payment, how important it is to be able to celebrate a holiday and be able to provide for their family when they don't have the resources to do so while they're going to through treatment is just amazing. There are so many different programs that are very close to our heart because all of these programs that Whitman has to offer, like Light a Candle, Booze and Buddies, um, they, they help with providing financial assistance to our patients that, that need the financial assistance. Whether it's dietary financial assistance, whether it's getting them nutritional supplementation, whether it's getting them gas cards, whether it's getting them to be able to pay a bill, having the services here and being able to support those services in any way possible is definitely a help for each and every one of these patients and for our efforts to be able to provide those services. So the bell is actually a culmination of treatment. So somebody that's going through therapy and that's curative therapy, we celebrate um, their, their culmination of their treatment by this victorious ringing of the bell and ringing out um, the old and bringing in the new. It is a very joyous occasion. For some people, it's, it's, it's also celebratory because it's, they've had a rough year. They've had multiple things that have happened to them in that rough year. And so it's just a way of like letting go and saying, okay, I'm done with this chapter of my life and it's time to move on. You know, it takes a village. Everybody plays a role. No one's too small. No dollar amount is too little. Any means of assistance is a way to help.